your father's kingdom, one on your right hand, and the other on your left? What was the reply of our Lord Jesus Christ? He asked, Are they able to drink of the cup that I drink, and to be baptized with the baptism wherewith all I am baptized? She replied, They are able. And our Lord Jesus Christ said, Ye shall drink indeed of my cup, and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with, but to sit on my right hand, and on my left, is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared of my Father. Matthew chapter 20 verse 23. God does not know workers of iniquities. But now, people will come to tell you, if you pay your dues, you will go to heaven, and if you fail to pay your dues, you will go to hell. Where have you found such conditions in the Bible? At times you say, let me pray, for you, so your father may be removed from hell to heaven. Where have you found such a passage in the Bible? Our Lord Jesus Christ had said, I must work the works of him that sent me, while it is day, the night cometh, when no man can work. John chapter 9 verse 4. I have already told you, if you do not forsake fornication, stealing, indulgence in the preparation of concoction, hatred, murder, maliciousness, and all vices, you will not enter into the kingdom of God. That is, why it is said, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Matthew chapter 7 verse 21. Many will say on that day, Did I not cast out demons in your name? Did I not make the blind to see, lame to walk, dumb to speak in your name? But I will say, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I have never known you. Matthew chapter 7 verses 22 and 23. Just as our Lord Jesus Christ came to confirm the words of the prophets, so has the Holy Spirit come to confirm the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, his words are true. Be holy so that you inherit the blessing. Our Lord Jesus Christ had instructed, Love ye one another. If you do not love one another, you will have no share in the kingdom of God. It is not all Abraham's children who are the children of Abraham. It is not all the children of Israel that are Israelites, but the children of promise. As I will tell you now, it is not the white that matters, it is not calling yourself a brotherhood that matters, what matters is being brotherhood in spirit. If you are led by the Holy Spirit, you will neither indulge in the preparation of concoction, nor fornicate, nor commit murder, nor commit any sin. For it is said, Wherefore henceforth know ye no man after the flesh. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 16. I do not know you in the flesh. I only know you in the spirit. I know, you are indulging in the preparation of concoction, telling lies, committing murder, stealing, fornicating, hating one another, sacrificing to idols, consulting oracles, begrudging one another, you may choose to hide yourself, but one thing is certain and that is, unless you are holy, you cannot enter the kingdom. I know what you are. If you wish to institute any court case against any person, you may do so. If you wish to marry many wives, you may marry. If you wish to look for much money, you may do so. I know the type of spirit in you, I know you. It is said, you should look for a black goat, when it is not yet dark. The kingdom of God is love. Our Lord Jesus Christ had borne eloquent testimony, when he said, Howbeit, when he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you unto the wisdom of truth. John chapter 16 verse 13. I have actually led you unto the wisdom of truth. No sinner has a share in this kingdom of God. This is a kingdom of love. A lawyer will not enter, a visioner will not enter, a professor will not enter, an apostle will not enter, pastor will not enter, president will not enter, a governor will not enter, a chief will not enter into the kingdom. It is only love, truth, mercy, meekness and temperance, righteousness, humility and patience which prevail in the kingdom of God. The church denominations say, if you become a member of their church, you will be saved. I do not say, if you enter brotherhood you will be saved, because I know, everyone is brotherhood. Except you are born of water and spirit, you cannot be saved. Why do you call our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, but reject his teachings? His teachings are true. Our Lord Jesus Christ is the Son of Man, Son of God and God himself. It is that same spirit which created man, who personifies in our Lord Jesus Christ. It is the same spirit who has come now. This is the end of time. He has come to rule. No other spirit will come. The wrath of God is upon the children of disobedience. The Holy Spirit is love, and therefore teaches you the concept of love.
He is the truth and therefore teaches you the concept of truth. He is patience. He is humility. He is peace. Here, there is no fighting. There is no quarreling. There is no anger. All those who commit sin have no share in this kingdom. Their share is the lake of fire. Whatever you sow, same will you reap. If you commit any sin, you will suffer as a sinner. You have heard, the wrath of God has come upon the children of disobedience. And the world is angry about his judgment. For it is said, and the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Revelation chapter 11 verse 18. What do you think about yourself? Human beings are empty. It is only Jehovah God and his Christ who now reigns throughout the world. It is he who created the world, heavens and earth and the fullness thereof. Do not bow down to idols. There is no ghost. There is no mermaid. There is no witchcraft. There is no ghost. There is no human being. It is only the Holy Spirit who reigns. Only listen to him. Do only those things he bids you to do. Have faith in the Lord. Do not believe in any human being. Only believe in the Holy Spirit from now henceforth. Let your faith be one with him alone. He is in your house. He is here. Make your request known to him. He is ever ready to help you. That is exactly what he told Philip when he asked, Show us the Father, and it's a fist of us. Our Lord Jesus Christ replied, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me had seen the Father, and how sayest thou then, Show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you I speak not of myself. But the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. John chapter 14 verses 8 to 11. When you see me, you see the Father. This is exactly the same thing transpiring now. Angels are militant in nature. Do not seek after the Holy Spirit in the sky. Do not seek after him in the wind. He is everywhere. Do not go to preach a lumbra lumbra boo, But preach the Holy Spirit. Do not preach about any human being. Preach the Holy Spirit for that is what has eluded many people in the world today. Do not look on me. Only look on the Holy Spirit, because personally, I only look on to the Holy Spirit. He is the only one who does all the works. The Holy Spirit is called the Spirit of Truth. Whatever he says is true. There is no argument in whatever he says. And our Lord Jesus Christ had said, at the end of time the Son of Man will send out his angels. Angels are a different group of persons. They are soldiers. It is they who kill and destroy. But the holy angel does not commit any atrocity. He is holy. You have to know, if you do not forsake sins, you cannot go near to the Holy Spirit. You cannot also enter into the kingdom of God. Very shortly you will not be able to enter into 34, Ambo Street. You will only stand outside the gate. Brethren, this is the time of the Holy Spirit. Go and preach the news of the Holy Spirit to all the inhabitants of the world, whether they choose to believe or not. To be carnally minded is death. It has been said, when the Comforter, even the Spirit of Truth will come, John chapter 15 verse 26. Go and declare to the world he has come. Tell them the Holy Spirit is love, he is truth, he is mercy, he is humility, he is grace, he is peace. He is righteousness. He is meekness and temperance. He teaches us and what he teaches is the truth. Do not argue. Do not doubt whatever the Holy Spirit teaches but practice what he has taught you. When you depart from the teachings of the Holy Spirit, then you are overshadowed with darkness. For the Holy Spirit sees both far and near. And he knows what will happen in the end. That is, why you are advised to listen to your spirit. If we walk in the Spirit of God, Galatians chapter 5 verse 16, we shall not perish. But if we walk according to the promptings of the flesh, we shall perish. Romans chapter 8 verse 13. Brethren, I do not intend to be tedious unto you. It is said, one stroke of the king is sufficient for the wise. Those who have ears to hear, let them hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. Thank you Father, 